Beth Myers has a, has a sacred trust with the American people right now. Beth Myers, who's Romney's uh, chief vice presidential selection person and the betting person, um, better not screw up because Romney's already in deep trouble in the sense that he has underwater favorability ratings. And this is very serious. This has been something that's been a problem with him for weeks. And it's hard to turn around. I, I mean, in terms of women, the new ABC Washington Post poll has Obama um, very favorable among women. And Romney is, I think he has like 27% favorable among women and like almost 56% or something like that unfavorable. That's very hard to turn around. What's Mitt Romney going to do to change the perception of him? Well, well famously, I mean, when, when Clinton picked Gore, it was counterintuitive because they were both region, from the same right. region. but. Mm -hmm. Gore did a lot to reinforce one strength, generational change, and two, to soften his image. He was right. environmental, et cetera. Right. Is there any pick out there that you think could help address that unfavorable rating problem that Romney has? No. I, I think... Not even a Chris Christie? That was my Chris Christie softball. Oh, that was your Chris Christie softball? Well, that was No, I, I, I don't think history shows that the uh, vice presidential pick um, helps people's perception of the, of the candidate. I think, I think what you want to do with a vice presidential pick is... First, do no harm. Do no harm. Have somebody who's credibly uh, uh, in line, you know, capable of being president. Um, and m maybe they'll help marginally with a state. Maybe someone like Chris Christie could help with New Jersey. But he's uncontrollable. That's the other thing. You have to have somebody who will be on message. But, but would be an attack dog and, and maybe add some humanity. Let's just quickly, if you're doing the Beth Meyer shortlist, if you were imagining who Romney might pick, wh what do you think would be the... Well, I'm not in disagreement with uh, our contributor, Paul Begala, who said uh, Rob Portman is a good choice. Ohio. He's from Ohio. He's known to the Washington Press Corps. Um, he's very competent, and uh, he indeed uh, complements Romney's uh, you, you know, fiscally conservative message. And what about, what about Bob McDonald? Virginia, base play, swing state. Similarly, I think probably not as good. I as don't think that's going to help with the gender gap. Do you? I, mean, I think it'll hurt. Can you actually. say ultrasound? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and are you of the opinion that Rubio, who I, I think could help move not just Florida, but maybe New Mexico and Nevada, uh, but the current conventional wisdom, and this is just people spinning their wheels in, in the absence of anything else to do in the press corps right now, uh, that, that may be too, a bit too pale and esque with regard to being tested? Well, there's that and uh, the fact that um, who knows whether Cuban Americans have much of a, a an attraction to? It's an important. Know, it's an important distinction. Other Hispanic yeah. Americans. So uh, that's one thing. And of course, he has some issues about his background. I mean, you know, if you when spend did, time in a state legislature, you usually come out a little muddy. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just even in terms of what his narrative about when his parents came from Cuba and why they came and all, all that kind. I of still stuff. think Rubio would be the best pick. I think it's the closest he can come to a game changer. But I think R R Romney probably. Well, I'm going to have say. Beth Myers call you then. Bobby Jindal is another one who is another candidate who's discussed sometimes who I think could really have game change. Someone who can inspire the base, but mm -hmm. also give swing voters perhaps another look. Someone who's got a pretty right. impressive record in Louisiana too. He's right. not just you know he's a he's a young pretty face. He's actually done a great job as governor of Louisiana. And I guess uh, the question about him is, you know, what will his performance be like? I mean, everybody had high expectations for a State of the Union And response. then there was the Kenneth the Page Boy exactly. delivery. Exactly. Yes. So, so that's another factor to consider. How well will this person perform before the national press on, on a campaign trail? Certainly is. But top line for you, first do no harm. First do no harm. Lloyd, you never do harm, man. I, oh, <laughs> I try. That's just not true. Yeah. Uh, that's all for us for Campaign Chronicles. We'll talk to you later. Okay. Thank you.